Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. There are 10 reasons why Haka and Hlema must resign immediately. The first reason is that he is useless. That is reason number one. He is a useless president. Reason number two, why he needs to go, why he must leave office, is because he is not useful. He is not useful at all. The third reason why he must go is because he is useless. Again, he is useless for the second time. The fourth reason why he must go is that he is not useful. Mm -hmm. Uncle Joshua, sure. Well, look at the formation of the president. You are not so ni so. Ah, yeah, in a way, you see, politics ya kambambi tuone. Ah, it's not good for our democracy. The moment the amache ma kambambi, kambambi, ah, we are not going to help one another as a country. You may not realize it as politicians, but you see, you are role models to a lot of us as young people. Some of your actions, some of the words you utter, motivate us to be or do things a certain way. And as we grow, we shall think doing or saying things that you are doing or saying now is no more even in the future. But uh, God give me life. I personally do not want to live in an environment that is so toxic for politicians such that, you know, there can never be good things uttered by an opposition leader to the ruling party president or good words coming from a president to an opposition leader. Uh -uh. That's not an environment that I personally would love to grow in. Maybe for some of you as our parents, this is normal. Maybe you have been seeing these politicians fight from Kaunda, from Chiruba, from Walevi Mwanawasa. Maybe it is normal, but we hope to see a situation where a former Republican president is in good books with the current president and the current president is also in good books with the opposition and the former Republican president. As a youth, I would love to see a healthy environment for politicians. I would love to see an environment where the president can say, Mr. Former Republican president, opposition party presidents, may we come together to a round table discussion. I know our vision, all of us, is to save Zambia and lead it to the best destination for every Zambian out there and we have our own ideologies on how we feel we can reach there we have a crisis may I hear from you how well you feel we can deal with this crisis and opposition party president will be there giving suggestions mr. former Republican president you've been there before how well do you think we can deal with this case and the former Republican president will be there to also give guidance and you know just the certain things that they did and the president will just be like okay yeah no I feel like with our vision this can work I feel like oh with the guidance sir this such kind of politics not to put it on say but cut you back and make our position you know tabak it's not healthy, Bani. It's not healthy. Honestly, Ango Shosho, if the current president was as useless as you claim, Ango, Tisaivare, Tisaivare, Kwamine Tachoka, Ango. Do you remember, Uncle? It was not in his reign. Uh -uh, it was not. So, if he was as useless as you claim, I think by now, Uncle, let's appreciate the little that the president has done. He may not be a perfect president. You may not like how he looks. You may not like certain things about him, but he... don't get personal. Let's just be objective in our criticism. It, it's just a plea. It's on the table. You can take it. 
you can leave it. Good morning, countrymen and women. Indeed, uh, I'm sure most of us across the country have continued to experience this uh, road shedding. And uh, most of us are quite disappointed with the manner in which our national electricity supplier, which is uh, Zesco, is handling this situation. And uh, for us, uh, as Patriots for Economic Progress, I think this doesn't come as a major surprise. Since the inauguration of President Hakainda Ichirema, we have seen that it has been disaster after disaster in terms of how he has been handling national affairs. Now, you must understand that the position of Republican president is a very critical position. It requires someone to actually perform to the expectations of the people so that national affairs can be properly managed. To the extent that we have someone who is occupying the position of Republican president who is not able to do the job, then the entire country suffers. And that is the reason why, for us, we have uh, decided to call upon Mr. Hakainde Ichirema, in his capacity as President of the Republic of Zambia, to resign his position as Republican President so that other people can get on board and do the job that he has clearly failed to do. You must remember that this issue of road shedding is affecting largely people in the urban areas people in the line of rail, those are the people who are most badly hit. But even people in rural areas were very badly hit not so long ago due to the failure by President Hakainde Ichirema's government to deliver farming inputs on time. So we have two major catastrophes that have struck this country within a period of uh, two months. That is the failure to distribute farming inputs which has affected the majority of our rural areas. And then we have this current uh, catastrophe, which is prolonged road shedding, which has essentially brought the lives of the Zambian people in urban areas to a complete standstill. These are two major fundamental failures. And uh, so far, in terms of solutions, the president is not offering any tangible solutions. Yesterday or the other day, he went to visit Kariba Dam, he went to visit uh, Mamba Koreares, and he took some uh, group photographs, but nothing tangible was presented to the Zambian people in terms of what the immediate solution to this problem is going to be. So it is very clear, it is very clear that Mr. Hakainde Ichirema has failed to do his job as a Republican president. And in any position, if you fail to do your job, the natural thing to do is to resign. The natural thing to do when you fail to do your job is to resign. You must remember that uh, across the country, across the world, we have had people who fail to do their jobs and who had to resign. Take, for instance, in the United Kingdom, we had Liz Truss, who was elected into office as Prime Minister of Britain. And she presented a financial turnaround plan, which later on turned out to be catastrophic. And the honorable thing that Liz Truss had to do was to resign was to resign her position as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom so that someone else with better ideas can be brought on board to do the job. So President Hakainde Ichirema has evidently failed to properly run the affairs of this country. And the natural thing, the decent thing that President Hakainde Ichirema must do is to resign his position so that another person can take over the mantle of being president of the Republic of Zambia and properly run the affairs of this country. And you must remember, countrymen and women, that in all these failures by President Hakainde Ichirema, whether it is failure to deliver farming inputs on time, where Vantu Makomboni, Ma Virejumu, they were sharing my medaya fertilizer, sharing a medaya of fertilizer, you know, uh, or it is the prolonged road shedding. 
we have not heard of any single apology coming from President Haga Ende Ichirema to the Zambian people. President Haga Ende Ichirema did not apologize for failure to deliver farming inputs on time up to this day. President Haga Ende Ichirema has not apologized to the Zambian people for this continued road shedding. He has not apologized. So we have an individual in State House who is failing to do his job, whose main job is just to talk and give promises, and yet when he, he creates a catastrophe which is adversely affecting the Zambian people, he is unable to apologize. Now you must remember, countrymen and women, that the ability to apologize signifies that someone has taken responsibility for a particular mistake. When you apologize, it means that you have acknowledged that you have done something wrong which you need to rectify. If you have not apologized, it means that in your mind you have not done anything wrong. And for as long as you believe that in your mind you have not done anything wrong, then you are unlikely to change. You are unlikely to change for the better. So we have a president who continues making blunder after blunder after blunder after blunder, but in the midst of all these blunders, he is unable to apologize to the Zambian people. He is unable to tell the Zambian people that I'm sorry, I delivered farming inputs late, I'm sorry, I was not able to deliver the promised six bags of fertilizer on time. I'm sorry, I'm creating this road shedding for a prolonged period of half of the day. And yet a month ago, I had told you that road shedding had come to an end. President Akainde Ichirema, not so long ago, told the Zambian people that road shedding was a thing of the past, that he had achieved that milestone. And a month later, he turned around and said, you are going to have 12 hours of road shedding, which is half of the day. So, when you have a leader who makes such a blunder, the expectation from the Zambian people is that he will come to the people, he will acknowledge the problem that we made a mistake somewhere as a government, and we are sorry. We are sorry, Zambians, we made a mistake in our calculations, and now it has turned out that you have road shedding. That is what a decent, responsible person is supposed to do in his capacity as Republican president. But we have seen that President Agai Nechirema is very mute. He's very mute on this issue, which means, in our view, he is taking the Zambian people for granted. He is taking for the Zambian people for granted. He feels that whether there is road shedding or not, whether farming inputs are delivered on time or not, the Zambian people will still give him their unconditional support. It should never be like that, fellow countrymen and women. It should never be like that. Any person who occupies the position of Republican president has a duty and responsibility to deliver to the expectations of the people. And here, we are not talking about exceptional um, uh, performance, no. We are just talking about basic performance. We are talking about someone being able to deliver electricity to the people so that the people can do their jobs. If Haka Inde Ichirema is failing to do that simple job, and he is failing to put on the table a tangible plan of action of how he is going to end road shedding, then he has no business continuing being in State House. He has no business continuing being in State House. It means that he is not useful to the Zambian people. And when someone is not useful, it means that they are useless. So we have a president in this country who is useless, who is failing to do his basic duties. And yet you and I, countrymen and women, we continue to fund his lifestyle. We continue to buy fuel for his motorcade, which has to move from state house to community house every day. We continue to fund his foreign trips. And yet on his side, he's failing to do his basic job. He's failing to discharge his basic responsibilities. We have someone in state house who is not useful to the people of this country. 
We have a president in state house who is useless. So the question then becomes, what is the point of continuing to keep a useless president in state house? A president who cannot solve the basic problems of the Zambian people. A president who cannot uh, give hope to the Zambian people in terms of when and how the problem of road shedding is going to be resolved. The president was given an opportunity to address the nation on the issue of road shedding. He is talking about traveling to Abu Dhabi to go and uh, uh, attract investors to come and invest in the energy sector of Zambia. Is that an immediate solution to, that, to the problem at hand? We have an urgent problem of road shedding, which cannot be resolved in the next 10 years or 15 years. That is too far. We need immediate solutions. We need immediate solutions to the problem of road shedding. People need to make a living out of their lives. Without electricity, people are not able to make a living. So you can clearly see there, countrymen and women, that there is a total disconnect between President Hakainde Ichirema's mindset and the problems that this country faces. When we have a problem of continued road shedding, his solution is that he will travel to Abu Dhabi to go and attract investment into the energy sector. When is that going to materialize? Your investment is Akabuerali Tiku Nogozambia. So you can see that till in a president more face, Zeru Zake, Nakuganza Kwake, severe in tandem with him a problem Yamene Ali Popa no Paziko. If a problem Yamene Ali Paziko pa no requires immediate solutions. President Agai Nechirema was supposed to give us solutions which should be implemented in the next two, three days, maximum one week. Maximum one week. Not that I'm going to travel to Abu Dhabi to go and attract investment for people to come and invest in our energy sector. That is not a solution to the problem at hand. It is not a solution. And even the other problem, another problem which was there, which is the problem of non-delivery of farming inputs. Kwa mene wa antuwenzo sharing saka imozi ya fertilizer wa antu eight waga wa na fertilizer mameda. You know what President Akai Ndechirema's solution was? He was saying, no, we are going to do better next year. Yes, you can do better next year. But what about this problem this year? Yamene Iriko problem where people are not going to be able to harvest enough food. What is the solution? You as president. So clearly, President Ndechirema is disconnected. President Ndechirema is disconnected to the problems facing this nation. President Ichirema is not in connection with the challenges of the Zambian people. He is failing to connect na mavuto ya wantu. So President Ngatazaka sotinga problem yama ya wantu ya mene wa facing ama Zambians. Afu nika ali connected kuma problem ziaja. Ashita understand ma problem kuti ma problem ya mene wa facing wantu ni ma problem branch. How can I resolve those problems? Not a president who is disconnected to the problems which the people are facing. Wantu waka mba jino road shedding ya chilamo 12 hours Adoke tzapu pasani ya mneo 12 hours road shedding But tzambo shitati maraiti ya buera 0-1 ya enda 0-5 Then ya buera fute 18 hours ya enda 0-1 Is that a solution? Is that a solution? Is that a solution? It's not a solution to the problems and challenges the Zambian people are facing. So we have a president in office who has clearly failed to deliver, to discharge his basic responsibilities. And when a person fails to do their job, it means that they are useless in that position. So we have a useless president occupying state house. And the question should be, why should he continue occupying state house when he cannot do his job? What is the point of having a president who cannot do his job and he continues to occupy state house? He's supposed to vacate state house so that in state house Muja, we put another person who can do the job and do it properly. 
President Nakarinda Ichilema has got no moral right to continue being in state house. He has no moral right to continue being driven in those luxurious vehicles in that motorcade. He has no moral right when he is failing to do his job. He has no moral right whatsoever. He has no moral right to continue doing and enjoying the presidency when he is failing to discharge the basic responsibilities that come with being a president. He has no moral right whatsoever. That is why he needs to resign and resign immediately. The reason that he needs to resign, there are 10 reasons basically. There are 10 reasons why Haka Ndechilema must resign immediately. The first reason is that he is useless. That is reason number one. He is a useless president. Reason number two, why he needs to go, why he must leave office, is because he is not useful. He is not useful at all. The third reason why he must go is because he is useless. Again, he is useless for the second time. The fourth reason why he must go is that he is not useful. Again, for the second time. The third the fifth reason, number five reason, why Hakai in the Afunikoshita resigned as president is because he is useless for the third time. Third time useless. He is not able to do his job. He is useless. Number five, number six, he is useless again. He is useless. He is not useful to the people of this country. He is not useful. He is useless. So he must go. Number eight, again, he is useless. He is useless. Completely useless. Number eight reason. Number nine, he is very, very useless. He is not useful to this country. Not at all. He must go. He is not useful at all. He is useless. Very useless. Number ten uh, reason why he must go is that he, he is totally, totally useless. He is not able to do his basic functions. Why should we keep a person in state house? We are funding Tim Gurira Vakudia Kunyumba Kwake Kuja. Taxpayers Vam Gurira Breakfast. Akudia. Akudia Breakfast. Tim Gurira Lunch. Akudia. Akudia Lunch. Akudia Lunch. Tim Gurira Sapa. Tim Gurira Taxpayers of this country. Tim Gurira Sapa. Eva Akudia. Fuel Tim Ikira Motoka. Tim Ikira Motoka. Every day we get fuel for him. Tim Gurira fuel, Vovara Vamena Vara Masuti, Tim Gurira, taxpayers of this country, Tim Gurira Masuti. But Eve Kamuza Kuti Iwe President Haka in the Ichirema, do something for us, the people of this country. Tipase Marait, give us electricity so that we can work. Stipe Mandarama, we are not asking for a handout. Tipase Ndarama, it is the seven zero. Tipase Ndarama, it is the seven zero. Aka Ngiwa, Kutipase Marait, and he's not giving us hope. So why should we have a useless president who has made TGSA, TGSA breakfast, TGSA lunch, TGSA supper, Tim Pasa, Tim Gurira Bovara, Tim Gurira Masuch, and yet he is useless times 10. He is useless times 10. And yet he continues to occupy the office of president of the Republic of Zambia. He is useless. He needs to leave office. So that he can go to Wamene. If the country sacrifices, if the taxpayers must to sacrifice, I think them go to breakfast to the president. If we can also teach the benefit, I think we run shit up. I think we run shit up. They can go to president breakfast. I think breakfast. I put a member. I took him up. I put a breakfast out of taxpayers of this country. I put a breakfast. I'm go to. If we can also buy the muffins, I think we run shit up. Aguiranjito to the benefit of us, the Zambian people, us, the taxpayers who feed him. The taxpayers, we met him gurira breakfast, we get ad yekusen. My taxpayers, we met him gurira lunch, we get ad yekusen. Muzua, eh? He said, my taxpayers, we met him gurira supper, we get ad ye. Abone bwino. Afuni kanaye vaka inda kofe si presidenti. Aguiranjito yake. Sina zim gurira tim gesa ai naeve bovu zitu kumoka bataka inda kuwafesi akangi wa kugira nchito akangi wa kusiri za road checking ni shi ni president wa kwanju ni shi is a useless president he must go what is the point of you and I countrymen and women of keeping a useless president in office why should we keep a useless president in office a president who is failing to end road checking what is the point 
What is the point? There is no point. He must go so that Chieseko winango. Ngati ni mamutare na rumango na wewe tizawa esako. Na wewe baka kangiwa basvaende or they should call for early elections. Let them call for early elections so that the people should vote again. And we see who the Zambian people can vote for. Otherwise, with regard to Mr. Haka Inde Ichirema, he has no business to continue being in State House. He has no business to continue being in State House because he has failed to discharge his basic mandate. Nshito ya mkanga. Haka Inde Ichirema, nshito ya mkanga. Ukakangiwa nshito, ufu nikawashita resign. Not at it, ungo kujia kuseni, ukujia vakujia, vakugurira ma taxpayers breakfast free of charge. Ketesi of the Republic of Zambia. Vakujiesa, wajia breakfast kuseni. Muzuwa, wajia breakfast, wakujiesa. Mazuro, wakujiesa, iwe ungo nyopora, bati, sufu na kugwira nchito ya mene wandu, wafu na kutu wakwirire as president of the Republic of Zambia. Then what kind of a person are you? What kind of a person are you? You need to leave office immediately because you have failed to do your job. You have failed to end road shedding. People are suffering and to work on Njara Manumba because they are failing to work. You understand? You can't just be wa 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 guirira wa guirira mpando at no the president. Wa guirira mpando at no the president. But who can't work with Anchito? Your president. Then what kind of a president are you? You need to vacate that seat so that when I'm going to and Chito, the job that you are failing to do. You can't say you are president, but you are failing to do your basic job. You are totally failing to do your basic job. Road shedding you want to, wakufa na njala manyumba omu. Wama weo jingi, wama chani, wonse business ya imirila. Iwe ndepe ukamba, no, I'll go and I engage my investors kwa Abu Dhabi, waka shito, waka borosh ta invest in the energy sector. What kind of reasoning is that? You need to go, you need to pack and go. So, I'm calling on President Haka Inde Ichirema to resign immediately. If he has any ounce of decency in him, he needs to resign. And the reasons for resigning are the 10 reasons that we have given. He is useless, he is useless, he is very useless, he is extremely useless, he is totally useless, and he is extremely useless. He needs to go. He has failed to do his job. He has failed to do his job. The Zambian people gave him a chance. And the leader at the person of presidents, the Zambian people listened to his cries. They gave him a job to be president of the Republic of Zambia. But ever since he came into office, it is disaster after disaster after disaster after disaster. And in each of those disasters, such to apologize. My name is Wabwanj. Wapanga mistake, but you can't apologize. You are failing to do your job. Upasa wantu ma medaya ya fertilizer. You are failing to apologize. Upasa wantu 12 hours road shedding. Even in 2015, at the highest level of road shedding in the previous government, still on Ghana 12 hours of road shedding. Never. It has never happened. Eh? How can it be that one minute you are saying road shedding in Asira, which means water level, the same water level, and then two or three weeks later, come back, no, we need the uh, maximum load shedding. Nishi Manzi Mudam, we are not branch. How did the water finish in the dam within three weeks? Anna Maboza. So he's not even a truthful person. Aripe Chirungamo. Aripe Chirungamo. Muntu, Angapange president, even in in a short tempo, when you make me your president one day. I'll be. I'll make a, a few mistakes here and there. But when I make a mistake, I'll come to you, the Zambian people, and say, "Look, my people, I've made a mistake here. Going forward, this is how I will correct this mistake." Maonaka, kuribe president wa mene sanga pange mistake. Each and every president that will sit in state house will make a mistake at some point. But the bottom line is that mufu ni kamundu wachirungamo. You need an honest person in his state house. So that when they make a mistake, they should do acknowledge. They should acknowledge that I've made a mistake. They should go to the people and tell the people that I've made a mistake. I'm sorry. Going forward, this is how we are going to correct this mistake. That is what you need. An honest person in the position of President of the Republic of Zambia. What we have at the moment is not only a useless president, but also a dishonest president. A very dishonest president. Muntu Ali shameless. Someone who is shameless. 
ali ali bensoni ali na boza ero boza yake ali bena yonsoni boza yake we have a very dishonest president who is not only incompetent but to boza Muntu or wapanga mistake in that you are You are telling the people the truth. You are being honest to the people. Then the people will understand. The people will understand to say, no, our president has made a mistake on this particular matter. And this is how he intends to correct the mistake. Not to Muntu, you you make blunders, blunder after blunder. If it is not the farming input blunder, it is the road shedding blunder. You make blunder after blunder, but you are also dishonest. You are not muntu wachirungamo. Sindi wa muntu wachirungamo. You are a liar. You are a cheat. You understand? That is the challenge we have with the president Hakai He is not only incompetent. Imu kanga isikuti imu kanga cha benchito kugwira. Ah ah. But imu kanga kugwira. Chito, but futi chirungamo alibe alibe chirungamo some of no kamba vintu ba straight ana maboza from one right to the other no road shedding is because of water in the kariba how did the water level change in kariba in three weeks from uh, no road shedding ending road shedding to 12 hours road shedding within three weeks manzi ya sirabanji ya sirabanji within three weeks so you can tell that uyu mtu wana maboza he is lying to the zambian people alewe po ufi alewe po ufi so we have a useless president in state house but who is also a liar and a cheat he has no business being in state house the people of this country have got um, no obligation to continue feeding Tikazim Gesa Eve Akudia State House Moja Akuta. But Mazambians, the taxpayers' money, Bam Gurira Matibo and every day Akudia Akuta. Akudia Akuta. Every day Akudia Akuta. But Safno Pasa Malaich to the Zambian people, Kuti Naveve, Vakazizi Sevenzela, Vakazidi, and Naveve Mazambians Vakutek. What kind of a leader is that? What kind of a leader is that? He's a totally useless president. We have a completely useless person occupying the position of Republican president in this country. And he must resign his position immediately. He must resign his position immediately. Talemanae, Talemanae. We've been very patient, but Talemanae, Kulipe Kwamehati Pereka, he's taking us nowhere because he's a useless person. He's not useful at all. Completely useless. Completely useless. He has the opportunity to do what is right, to help the Zambian people come out of poverty. But he is pushing the Zambian people deeper and deeper into poverty. Awa ngenesa, awa fikira munjara. Mazambians, awa fikira munjara. Awa fikira, awa kumbila kamugodi, no awa fikira munjara. We can't have a president like that. He needs to go. And someone needs to tell him. And I have decided to be that person, to tell him that he, you must go because you are failing to do your job. You have failed to do your job. The Zambian people gave you an opportunity. You failed to do your job. You have failed to do your job. Go. You are a useless person. You are completely useless. You've got no business continuing being president of the Republic of Zambia. You are completely useless. You must go. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.